hope that I find what I have to do. Like, it's right there. I'm like, oh, or maybe I gotta do something else. You know, the things that I have to do? I actually do have to do what I said I thought I had to do before. Mm -mm -mm. And my two meter sense has a, um, quite a few, um, issues that I might have to... I should fix, but I don't think how messed up my brain is that uh, probably not going to be fixed. Ever. So if you like watching people suck at Tomb Raider, you know, I'm your guy. Oh, okay, there's the ball. Okay, that was unexpected. So we got that guy, and we got the lightning ball in here. You can't come in here. Okay, at least we got that. Let's put the large mech pack over here. I wonder if I should actually... Eh, yeah, why not? worst that could happen. I die? I mean... Why am I being an idiot? I've got the magnums. I've got 300 magnum rounds. What the hell am I doing just wasting... being an idiot and just... Yeah, this was no less no meds. I would... be doing horribly right now, but it's not. It's not to worry. Just save again. Okay, that was easier than I expected it to be. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any pickups. I have to open this door somehow. Let's go to the safe back over here and... That's obviously not movable. Hey Lockie, what's up? Okay, I'm kind of stuck. Playing this tier early, which, you know, made me look like an idiot more than I usually do anyway. That's about, you know, par for course when I'm playing tier early. And we got this right here. Okay, it only shoots on those tiles. And I remember, I think it was the first level where you had to jump on specific tiles or whatever. Okay, I thought it only shot on those specific tiles, but it um, looks like it doesn't. Just use one of my four large head packs and just run for it. And it doesn't open. It's the best I can think of because 
I don't think he would like put a movable tile or something where you can't actually see if they're movable or not. I mean, the other TRLEs that are played by Fetter haven't been quite that mean. I mean, he could have decided to do that in this case, but I doubt that. Maybe try it this direction. Maybe it's gonna be like an X shape. Do you have any idea of what to do here? Because I've... Wait, is the door open? Wait, no, no, it's not. It's looking in the wrong direction. Damn it. This is the Terminator 3 Crystal Alive, where you just put one key in and everything works. Okay, I am legitimately stumped here. I'm assuming it has something to do with that. You have to, like, stand on specific tiles. But... That's the only thing I could think of, because I do remember in first level there was a tile puzzle. At least in that level there wasn't the, uh, Thor's Lightning Bowl of Death. And maybe you have to stand on each and every one of the, uh, like, gray tiles. Maybe not the silver tiles, but the gray ones. I'll just chug the med packs if need be. Maybe you have to jump on the iceberg tiles. That's kind of dangerous, but whatever. That's what med packs are for. <sighs> okay, I did something. I don't care what it was, but I did it. So, you know. Whatever I did, I did. Oh, another one of them. Come over here. I don't hurt. My guns don't hurt either, it's just the bullets. That do. Okay, Uzi rounds. It doesn't look like we get up. Up there? Nope. Probably gonna- oh, you probably are gonna get up there and jump around up there later. This pool down here is probably a way to save your fall. Let's see, is this a door that opens? This is this possibly the end of the level? Well, it's a door that opens. Might be the end of the level, might not, I don't know. Nope. I think they're... yep. Magnum rounds. Two. 
293 Magnum rounds. Okay. Holy shit! Thank you for the raid, Trizcat. Give me a second to. I hate that the Twitch. Like, chat window, like, scrolling up. Incredibly annoying, but whatever. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Or not. Thank you for telling me about the shotgun shells that are up there. Now, what's up, Triz? If this is another door I've got to open somewhere. Yep. Okay. Mmm. Balls. All right. Thank you for following, Samantha. I'm good. Tidia, what's up? Okay, this is pretty ballsy for a... Woo! First try, even. Flames, what's up? Can I actually get back? This might be like a secret or something back there. I'm good. Just a little tired, but, you know. That's me most of the time. Let's see, maybe I might be able to jump up and no damage over here. And I am, okay. Yep, spike pick. As much as I, you know, I assumed it would be. Is there anything over here? Better be. <laughs> yep, and a secret. I kinda expected this to be a secret. Because I've made a mental note in back of my back of my head that there was something in here. Okay, Magnum rounds. Yeah, most of the time, like, it used to be like half the time I'd do this and I'd do like just normal playthroughs of other games. The majority of the time I do, you know, custom Tomb Raider stuff. Tomb Raider 1, no loads to the meds. I'm thinking about getting back into the somewhat into the just, you know, playthroughs of other games. I've been planning on doing a playthrough of uh, Wolfenstein The New Order. Yeah, but most of the time it's Tomb Raider stuff. Stuff that I like, and I'm reasonably decent at. I mean, I might not be like a Tomb Raider god, but... I'd say I'm okay at this. I don't remember to save the game. I don't want to do the boulder gauntlet again. I know it was pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, nothing in there. And okay, now we're up here. Oh. Thank you for the host, Lockie. I 
thought that it would be like in St. Francis Folly where you stand on the trigger tile, but nope, I guess you probably pull a switch or something. I don't think this opens, just decoration. I'll just save here, just in case. <laughs> just got denied some lunch today, buddy. How does it make you feel? The switch, I assume, opens. Thought that was the door for a second, but that door over there it probably does something else too. Yeah, I like the like TRLEs that aren't. Oh, they're facing like two meter four. I always like the two meter one ones because they're just so limited. See how like. How the developer can, like, work within the limitations. Well, then again, this is better, and like, every single tier elite that I do- Oh, okay. She Gotta remember that, because I think I actually died when I was doing, like, 2 meter one no load no meds to, um, a panther in City of Kamoon, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like how like, the Tomb Raider 1 tier release, you have to, the devs have to work within the limitations of the Tomb Raider 1 engine. But then again, as I said, this is, you know, a, a Fetter tier release, so... If anyone who could do it would be him. I don't think I've ever played a crappy Fetter tier release. I mean, let's save here. So I just got through this mess. Use a med pack. <sighs> yeah, I think I played I played the Hidden Dagger, which I thought was incredible. Probably one of the best tier releases I played, in my opinion anyway. The swamp, that was another great one. Get this open. I played the Tomb Raider 3 one he made, Templar's Secret, because I know Matt played it, and from what I saw of it, it looked great. Okay, this is apparently a return path. Okay. Okay, that was... Yeah, what do you think about the swamp so far? I thought it was great. <clears throat> yeah, I just wondered about that. Like, what, like, level editor do they use for... Like, the first three Tomb Raider games? It's like a custom level editor they made, or something? Or do they, like, modify the... Because I remember, I think, in, like, one of the demo discs, they had, like, a behind-the-scenes, like, video of, the, of Core Design making, like, a 2 meter 3 level, and it looked similar to the 2 meter 4 level editor. And I assume it would be, because it's basically the same engine, which is some improvements. I'm gonna play it with the level editor once or twice, but, uh, that's it. <laughs> Never... I probably... If I wanted to, I could probably be reasonably proficient at the level editor, but I'd rather just play them than make them. I guess I'd probably get sick of Tomb Raider if I made them. Oh, I see you up there. Ah, oh, yeah. I've, I've heard about that, but never really, you know, like, looked into any of it. Save right here again. Alright, if you're still live after I'm done streaming, I'll host your radio. Okay. <coughs> I 
I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I did it anyway. Or that's the return path, but what did I do down here? Okay, I can see the A shimmy path. That wasn't a shimmy path, it was just me being blind. Okay, apparently this is what you're supposed to do, instead of I'm trying to be fancy. Like I do the shortcut sometimes in Atlas Mines. Yeah, Fetter is probably, you know, one of my favorite tier early developers that I've well of the like the tier early that I've played. Okay, so I went in there. What did I actually do in there? I just activated a few balls. Okay. Okay, I think I got it now. It's like in, um, which one was it? Atlantis, like the ball resets, it's like pull the uh, block out to be able to keep the ball from like blocking where you're supposed to go. You know, it's just glitched by it, but uh, I'm not in a glitchy mood right now to do that. I'm gonna do it how we intended it. Let's save right here. I should stop, uh, stop sucking. Maybe he intends for me to actually glitch out. Hmm. <laughs> no, he obviously does not. Thank you for the host, Tad. Laura, don't... Ah, damn it, Laura. It's not you, Laura, it's me. I'm just getting kind of frustrated with my, uh... Lack of skill here. But I'll get it eventually. I hate that. I hate the mandatory camera angles. I got this jump once, I could do it again. It's not that hard of a jump, it's just that the uh, pressure of Lara potentially getting squished. Okay, okay. I, I did it, but then I died. But, you know, progress, I guess. You know, I think I was on the other tile. Did 
てる I assume that we go back into the pool room because I put the uh, tiles up or the uh, platforms up above so definitely going up now and that's the only thing that I remember seeing that was up high I'm definitely saving here because my ball sense is uh, she raided me like uh, 10 maybe 15 minutes ago Oh. That better not be like another like Thor lightning bolt ball thing. That's uh <laughs> that opens that up. Chug med packs. <sighs> what I hate about this first Tomb Raider game, like Matt was talking about before. How like two meter four, you can swap the um, like the um, aiming targets. I hate that this game doesn't have the like hot keys, like two for the shotgun, three for the magnums, four for the Uzis. In a sense, that switch open that gate down there. I guess is this open? Yes, it opens. Okay, so I'm doing the right thing here. Let's start max health. I guess we just wanna... Yeah, I'm liking this puzzle even though I'm failing at it. easier if I could just hit like the um which key was it for the med packs like the zero key or whatever so I'm having to like remember to I'll get this puzzle eventually I assure you that or I assure you of that I'm really liking this puzzle though maybe I should actually um Yeah, I should actually... Hey. Roxas has promised that he'd go back and play the first Tomb Raider. He hasn't even done that yet. He's playing his Final Fantasy VII Remaster, last I checked. Yeah, let's just... <laughs> this is probably the best place to save. Oh, you can get hit from up there, okay. I was just wondering. If you like... <laughs> That's one way to die. I probably should get the death counter enabled one of these days, but um just real strength laziness as I, you know, this, oh, okay, that's... <sighs> yeah, that'd be cool, like someone just remade St. Francis Folly. Just that one level in a tier early and just made it more like this. 
probably St. Francis Fall is probably the best, like, level they remade in Anniversary, because, like, the Neptune Rune in the original. Way, way too easy. I'm guessing this is just gonna be a chug, chug all the med packs. <laughs> the stupid puzzle eventually. <sighs> I got it. Finally did it. It wasn't that hard. It was actually enjoyable. I like puzzles like that. Like, even though you're getting destroyed, you still like, damn, this was a good puzzle. Not like, uh... I'm gonna reach within the game and delete the tier early from my hard drive. All these ramps makes me think that there might be boulders up there, but nope. the switch and what does this do? Like it is a ball, I assume there would be a ball there. Because I saw the pressure oh, okay. Ooh, shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. And the ball or the switch rather. Just another one of those I'm gonna have to figure out what I have to do. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. Yep. Yep. Pull this out to, instead of the ball falling down to that pit, it falls down to the pressure plate. Okay, I gotcha, game. I gotcha. That's a pretty damn good puzzle. I mean, this is Fetter, so you kind of expect, you know, he has the track record of making amazing tier release, so you kind of expect that this one would be amazing too. And so far it has been. Yeah, we're using the Magnums, or so I like calling them the Maggies. They can at least walk on top of the retextured and free whatever block. So I think you can in two meter four. Tier two, two meter four based. Two meter four and two meter four based tier release, I'm sorry. Unless uh, I think they mod might have modded the limitation out. Okay, so what am I supposed to do in here? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like the first secret from St. Francis Folly. Okay. I got gotcha. you. That's what you're doing.
Okay, I was about to say I'm 99.999% sure that as soon as I pull that switch, that'll happen, but um, it was more of a proximity thing than a switch thing. Okay. Thank you for following, Tidia. Oh, okay. Blast damage seems to be... Charm me? I've always struggled with the, um... This guy at the end of Sanctuary. I'm gonna do my no loads, no med stuff. I should probably get back into no loads, no meds. One of these. Oh, okay. Finally, it does that. Alright, see you later. Okay, now I know what I have to do. I have to go back down to the pool room down there, because one of the switches... Like the, um... Like the Thor lightning bolts that's above the pool room, and like one of the switches I pulled in the water, there's a gate. So I have to go back down there, and I assume I can go back down there by... Oh, okay. <laughs> like this. It's like I have the assumptions of where I have to go, and then I see... A little carrot stick. In this case, some magnum ammo. Tell me where I have to go. Now I wonder. Okay, I can't get back. And Fetters doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would force you to, like, soft lock you, so I'm assuming that, um... <laughs> Might be like the deck. <sighs> you have to take fall damage. Okay, that's just decoration. I thought it was, like, a platform that would... That would have, like, plopped down. Like, as a walkway, but nope. 